All right, guys, uh, so today we're going to be bringing you a uh, cylinder head uh, removal, gasket change, replacement, and reinstallation of the whole top end of the engine. So we're going to take the whole uh, top end of the engine apart, which we have just about taken off. We have just the cylinder heads left to take off, um, and then we can get those resealed and put back into the engine. Um, so the first part to a head gasket swap is taking all the stuff out. You do not have to have the engine removed from the vehicle when you do this. Um, I'm just doing an engine conversion, so I have the engine out. I'm doing it while it's out because it makes it easier. Um, so what we're going to do uh, first off is we're going to remove the rocker arm assemblies. And on the back here. Uh, this right here is where your lower intake manifold would sit. Where did that go? Here we go. Got all the parts here. So your lower intake manifold, of course, it's not going to sit just like that. It would sit just like that. Okay, look how shiny that is compared to everything else. Just because I uh, sanded all that down for gas for the new gasket and threw it in the parts washer for work. One of the many benefits to uh, being able to work at a vehicle dealership is you get expensive equipment for free or use of it um, so anyway <clears throat> these here are your push rods okay and this is these are your rocker arms and uh, down here right here is your tappets or lifters okay so when the engine uh, can actually educate you here when the engine spins okay the engine spinning you have your connecting rods in the bottom of the engine and those are going up and down like this, okay? And that's going to push valves. These are valve. These are where the valves go in the bottom here. And the engine's going to, the connecting rod's going to push those valves up, which in turn is going to lift this rocker arm up, and this is going to push the valve down, and it's a reverse process. All right. So uh, as I was saying before, uh, got a little interrupted there. Uh, the engine spinning and it's pushing the push rods up, which is pushing the valves down and creating compression. Um, so you know, they, it's a rev not really a reverse process, but a reoccurring process. So it keeps happening. It causes horsepower and friction. You know all that good stuff. So now that I've kind of educated you there a little bit, let's go ahead and take off the uh, rocker arm assembly. Um, so now what I've learned from work is you get a box, okay, you get an empty cardboard box. Alright, so we have our empty cardboard box here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mark, we're going to make a layout of the engine, okay. Now you want to make sure you get this correct because if you put your rocker arms or your push runs on incorrect, uh, you could have engine failure, you know, stuff like that. You don't want to deal with that. So we're going to pretend that this is our engine, okay. And the front of the engine is right here, okay? And now I have it set up on my right-hand side here away from the camera to where I can just look to my right and, you know, kind of draw a picture. You're not really drawing a picture. But what you can do is you can make an arrow. Okay, now I just made an arrow pointing forward, and I'm going to write front, okay? That tells me that this box when pacing forward is the front of the engine okay so this side here will be the left hand rocker assembly and this right side here will be the right side rocker assembly okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to come back over here and we're going to look we have on the left hand rocker assembly here okay we have one two three four five six push rods okay there's six push rods on the left hand side and there are one two three four five six push rods on the right hand side you are always going to have the same amount of push rods on each side they will never be a different number okay they'll always be the same so we have six push rods on the left hand side so here's what we're going to do we got our box our little engine bay kind of duplicate here we're going to take that box and we're going to punch six holes in it to hold the push rods this way you don't have to lay this stuff on the ground you can put it in the box 
and it's pretty hard to forget. Six holes on the left side and six holes on the right side for 12 of our push rods, okay? So now that that's done, now we don't need to worry about anything. Everything's labeled. So as far as that goes, that's done. Now that we're set and ready, we can begin the process of removing the rocker arms. Okay. So, um... I believe those to be 16 mil. Let's see here. Might be a 15. Yep, looks like it's a 15 mil. Okay. On there. Now these may take a little torquing. There we go. There's one. You want to be very careful not to round these things, okay? Final one from this side. Three, okay. And now this is this stuff's a lot easier with. Uh, with impact uh, tools, um, but I didn't have access to impact tools. And as you've seen, I was putting all my weight on that on that bar. You don't you know you don't want to be sitting here trying to do something like this. You know it's all about leverage. Go ahead and get a good stance. Put all your weight and muscle into that. Okay, that'll make it a lot easier. Oh, good thing snap on's got a uh, lifetime warranty. So now we got those. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen these enough to where the threads will just come out. And you just wanna inspect those. Okay. Just to where we can pull the rocker arm up. And you wanna go ahead and take a look at them. Now we should be able to lift the rocker arm assembly up and away from the engine. Just like that, okay? Here is your rocker arm assembly. All right, so now we'll, all we're gonna do is so, set that off to the side. We got our box, okay? I was kind of using this as a little stand here. We have our box. We have our left hand rocker arm assembly, okay? Don't set that on the box. Go ahead and set that off to the left of the box. Put right next to it on the left hand side so you know what is what. Okay? Now we move on to the next part. All right, guys, so now that we are on to our next part of uh, removing the left-hand side cylinder head, uh, now that the rocker arm assembly is removed, <coughs> these push rods will pull right out. Now, you don't want to mess these up, okay? So, we just took the first one on the left-hand side, and what you want to do is go ahead and inspect these while you have them out, okay? You want to look for any pitting or anything like that. This camera doesn't seem like it wants to focus, really. I don't know if you can see. It's not really going to show it. Um, but you want to look for any sort of pitting or anything on these push rods. And these push rods actually look really good. 
It's only got 127,000 miles, so I would hope that they're good. And if they need replacement, go ahead and buy new parts.